Hey guys, I'm Maya Harvey with the Plan the Vista Broadcasting Department. This upcoming Monday, the Great American Solar Eclipse will be visible in the sky from around 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. For about two minutes, the sun will be partially or fully obscured by the moon in the sky, depending on where you're standing. It's a pretty dramatic sight. So dramatic that in many different cultures around the world, it was once believed that eclipses were the result of some sort of monster eating the sun. In fact, ancient Chinese people banged together pots and pans and tried to make as much noise as possible to scare away what they thought was a star dragon devouring the sun. So if it's not a dragon, sky wolf, or fire dog trying to take a bite out of the sun, what causes solar eclipses? A solar eclipse occurs when we have the new moon, uh, the sun, and the earth all line up. So the moon lines up with the sun and blocks the light from the sun to the earth. That was our very own Doug Scholl, astronomy teacher at Papillion Vista High School and UNO. The reason it works so well is because the uh, moon is 400 times smaller than the Earth, but the sun is 400 times farther away. So when they line up, it blocks the sunlight and you have an eclipse. That's such a cool cosmic coincidence. Anyways, the sun does not appear to be completely obscured for everyone. The strip of land where the sun appears to be perfectly covered is called the path of totality. Although our school system is sadly not within the path of totality, we will see a large portion of the eclipse, certainly more than, say, New York City. Now that you know that you're in such a good place to view the eclipse, you're probably super excited to glue your eyes to the skies. But that might not be such a good idea. There are ways to look at the eclipse safely, though, like through solar glasses, special equipment, or cameras with solar lenses. Well, I guess that's about all I have to say, Papillion the Vista. Be safe and have fun enjoying the science all around us.